Welcome to Yoga with Dora. Today I would like to introduce to you alternate nostril breathing, a very beautiful cleansing, balancing breathing technique for the mind. It activates the, this beautiful flow, this balance between the left and the right side of the brain, the parasympathetic and the sympathetic nervous system, and just creates this even flow between activity and passivity, work, and relaxation. So this uh, breathing pack, uh, practice is very be beneficial for everybody, but if you feel that you are very much in the mind, very much in the thoughts, then this is the one for you to do. Vata balancing technique, so if you know your Ayurveda and you know that you may be having too much air and ether, this is the one to practice. You can practice it in the morning, lunchtime, before you eat and the evening, so the best times is uh, dawn, midday, before the evening meal and dusk, okay? But whenever you feel comfortable with. So I'm not going to mirror with this one. With your right hand, with your left hand come into Gyan Mudra, so the index finger comes together with the thumb and just relax the left hand on the knee. With the right hand, fold the index and the middle finger into the palm and we're going to use the thumb on the right nostril and the ring finger and the little finger together on the left nostril. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a big exhalation and then we close the right nostril and we inhale through the left nostril. Then we close with the two fingers, just gently, softly. And on the open the right nostril and we exhale on the right. And then we inhale on the right again, close with the thumb, swap, exhale on the left. So just make sure you feel your breath feels nice and comfortable and you're only directing the flow of the breath. So you don't, when you first come to this technique, you don't have to worry about the count or how long it is, just do it, whatever feels comfortable. So I just do one round and then we, will, we can go further. So bringing, exhaling, bringing the thumb to the right, and of course, again, it's quite nice to close your eyes and bring your focus to the center of the eyebrows. Exhaling, thumb to right nostril. Inhaling through the left nostril, closing it with the little finger and the ring finger. Swap, exhale right. Inhale right nostril, close the right nostril, swap, exhale on the left and relax. So this is just one round. And you can start practicing just one round, three rounds in the morning, building up slowly. So all of these breathing practices should feel comfortable and should feel that you're enjoying this and your breath is becoming lighter and smoother. If you force it, if you force the body into something which is not ready for it, then you will have resistance. So if you find that this is quite easy, then you can add breath retention into the practice that is called anulom vilom. And breath retention is when the magic happens. But we have to be ready for, we, for it physically. So if you're new to the practice or if you have a lot of physical symptoms, you may find that there are toxins in the body. Toxins are a sign when you feel your digestion is not very well or you have joint pains and aches. That means that there are toxins in the body. So then just uh, stay with the cleansing version of it, the alternate nostril breathing, just alternating the flow. If you feel ready to add breath retention, is, so when we're inhaling, we're bringing in and uh, just expanding in the body. And when we hold the breath, we just multiply it. And when we're exhaling, we're releasing, letting go. So you can start with the ratio that however counts you breathe in, so let's say you breathe in for two counts, three counts, four counts, you hold it for the same counts, and then you exhale from the same counts, okay? If you want to go a little bit further, you can add that you inhale, and then hold it for the same, and you double the exhalation. So you let's say you breathe in two, hold two, exhale four, okay? So in this video, we're not going to go further, the final yoga count is actually one unit inhalation, four unit hold, and two unit to exhale. But obviously you can have like four inhale, 16 hold, eight 
um, uh, seconds exhalation, building that up. But at the beginning, even if you start doing the equal, so you just do as many counts, inhale, as many counts, hold, same count, exhale, you can start working with this retention. And again, when we finish, just relaxing the hands, relaxing the mudras, and just spending a few moments turning within and checking in with how the breath affected. That's okay. So let's just try together the cleansing version, the alternate. When we're using it as a cleansing practice, so we're not using breath retention, then we generally practice it before the class or morning anytime. If you we use it with the breath retention, then it's called more, it's a pranayama, then we do it after the physical practice and before meditation. So physical practice, uh, practice uh, anulom vinom, so you add the breath retention, then you go into your meditation and then finally finish with Shavasana. Okay, so let's just do about one minute together and whichever practice you would like to, whichever count you would like to have. Bring the left hand into Gyan Mudra, right hand into the Vishnu Mudra, index finger and the middle finger to the palm and using the thumb and the other two fingers to control the flow of the breath. Exhale, close the right nostril. Inhale through the left. Decide if you are gonna hold or swap. And continue with this rhythm. Now finish on the exhalation on the left nostril and just observe how you're feeling. And this cleansing breath is like a reset button for the nervous system. It purifies the channels, calms the mind, makes the breath subtle. And whenever you're ready, bring the hands to the heart. Just bow the head to the heart. Slowly open up the eyes. And thank you for being with me today. Hope you find this beneficial. Keep activating the alternate not through breathing. Namaste.